Yes, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. We're here with another 6 p.m. content drop video for you today, and I think today is going to be a good one. It is Tuesday, so I'm expecting something to be released and objectives and possibly the SBCs. So we're just going to jump straight into it because that's what you're here for. We're going to go straight into objectives, see if there's anything new there. Can the game load? Yes, here we go. So we've got new daily objectives, which obviously is what we get every single day. We are slowly chipping away at the Cucurella and Rainier, which is what you see there. Weekend League Plus is back. Okay, so that's just trying to give people an incentive to play Weekend League. That 22 Weekend League wins seems a bit uh, a bit over the top for me. But Team of the Week 21, we'll take a look at that, see which ones you can get. 10 wins is pretty easy for everybody else. 16 wins should be okay for everybody. I mean, how long is it there for? Five days. So it's only there for this weekend. And 22 wins might be a bit of a push for not some people. Unless you're that elite level player or you usually get gold one. Then you should be okay to try and hopefully get 22. But if not, then don't worry about it. Again, you just play for fun if you want to get that 14 wins or even 11 wins and disqualify for next week. And don't worry about pushing yourself too much. The game is there to try and get you to have a little bit of fun. If you're not having fun at trying to get the 22 wins, then stop. Don't don't push yourself any further than you need to do. I don't think there's anything else there by the looks of it. No, obviously we're not bothered about the foot friendlies. We'll do that probably tomorrow if we get silver stars. I'm hoping we do get silver stars. Um, I mean, Josh Madger scored two goals at the weekend, so maybe he'll get a silver stars. Who knows? Uh, Aidan McGiddy got four goals. I am a Sunderland fan, so I'm going to boost these players up really quick for myself. Um, Aidan McGiddy got four assists, and uh, hopefully he either gets a team of the week or... He gets himself a silver star, and Charlie Wyke obviously got four goals, so hopefully he gets some Team of the Week again. If they all get Team of the Weeks, we'll try and get them all, and then hopefully I can try to put it together a, uh, a past and present, or just a presence on the squad, and see what we can do in Weekend League with it. And maybe Lee, maybe uh, Lee Burge, or whatever his name is, Burgey. I can't think of his first name, so I just call him Burgey. We'll get, uh, maybe get an info for getting two penalty saves, and uh, who knows. So there's nothing new there. I'm just going to check milestones again. Nothing new. I, I keep repeating myself. I think they would. I wish they would bring what squad foundations. And again, we're slowly just chipping away at the season's progress. We've not really done much at the minute. Uh, looks like the objective players have got new uh, new dynamic images, which is always nice to see. So we're just going to jump straight into squad battle, uh, squad building challenges again. Wow. Stefan El Shirari flashback card. That is very nice. That, wow, that is, let's have a look at his attributes. Oh my days. 99 agility for 510, 5 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. Medium, medium might be a little bit of a push, but then again, you could always use him as a left forward and play him off 7 chem and keep him up top if you wanted to or push him out wide and uh, maybe give him, an give him an engine or... A catalyst to boost that pace to maximum 99.99 and the uh, short pass to 90 and long pass into 78. I think it goes to crossing's a bit of a, a bit of a give, a, uh, not a, not a selling point. Free kicks, you're not too bothered about. Vision's pretty good, curves pretty good. So I mean, an engine, an engine might be the way forward because you might boost your dribbling size too. 99 agility, man, and 86 stamina as well is pretty decent. Finesse shot trait, flare trait. I mean, or just a, if you're not too bothered about his pace or his dribbling, just give him a dead eye. Or if, you know, if you do want to play him as a striker, then give him a finisher. On seven cam, you still get pretty decent stats for shooting. Let's just have a look at his requirements. Sorry, backed out the wrong screen there. Fat thumbs. So you got three requirements. What are the requirements? An 80 rated squad, 75 cam, one Milan player. So 75 cam, 80 rated. You're looking at what? 50? Possibly 50, 60k. I guess 80 rated players would be boosted as prices. What is Milan players? Then an 84 rated with one Italy and 70 chem. So you're looking at about 100 odd k there. And then an 85 rated one Serie A player, 65 chem. So all in all, I'm guessing probably what? 300k to complete that player? But then again, you know, if you want to do him, then fair dues. 300k for a player of that quality isn't a bad price, I suppose. But I guess you can get Marco Trashford off the market for cheaper. And he does have pretty similar stats. I know he's only 85 rated, but we will go look at the similarities. What else have we got? What else have we got? Anything else? Off the woodwork. 
Completely sure if a Trevor Sleeve challenge and earn a reward. So we'll just favor that real quick. Have you got anything else other than that as well? Doesn't look promising. Let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think of the uh, flashbacks with this... This with Just the flashbacks in general lately. They've been pretty decent for you guys. Are you going to do this El Shirari? Did you do the Ronaldo? Did you do the Ribri? Also in the comments, let me know what you think of the uh, the Future Stars promo. Is it a W for you? Is it an L for you? Is, is it mediocre? Are the Academy players, could they be better in your opinion? It, if, for me personally, I think that Renier isn't really a player that we're going to use too often. The Cucurella could... Squeezing, could squeeze into the team if I decide to take Ruby out. I'll have a play around with that one because he, he's not a bad player, but I just feel like this this promo is is just lacking something in general, and maybe that's just because of the way the game is or the way the game's coded. It it favors certain body types, certain players, and you know chemistry styles. Again, as like I said in a previous video, they don't do what they say they should do, in my opinion, and, and that's one of the down parts uh, and the downsides of the. Uh, the whole thing so we'll just go into this off the woodwork we'll look at the requirements see if we can craft this right now for you guys so you can probably follow along at home so you need six so four nationalities minimum three players from the same league one uefa commons player 75 rate 85 chem so we try to go off league so if i go to turkey because i know that i've got a few players from there that i won't use so we try and use off leagues because obviously we need four minimum nations. So we do that and that. And again, if I can just think of players that I know I've got because I did a club, not a club stop, but a club rinse the other day of bronzes. And I know for a fact I've got players from this league. So we're just going to use that one. CDM. And if I pop that there and then if I just go to commons try and see if we've got anything that can match up because we've got a few Spanish players in the team so if I can get the chem from there because I don't think we've got many Turkish players as a um, as Champions League commons so I know we've got a few Spanish so we've got one okay sorry one we've got any Turkish players I don't think we do Oh, we do. Okay, I'll just pop them in there as well, just in case we need them. So I'm going to put him there, and then I'm going to try to fill the team with the rest of the Spanish players, because I know for a fact I've got a few of them that might be off leagues. Or even main leagues, I'm not too bothered at this point. Let's try to get rid of the lower rated players to start with. Um... Bronzes, no, not not going to get rid of bronzes. So I'm going to go gold. What have I got? Anything sent in mid Spanish wise? Have I done Spanish? Yeah, I've done Spanish. Okay. I don't want to use too many because I know I'm going to use them for there. So we're going to go striker there. Gordra. Another left wing there. Cordoba. Try to get rid of the non res if you can. So we've got. Have I got any. Not right mid. CDMs in Spain, that's somewhere else. Perfect. Osma. Is that it? 85 chemistry. Pop him there. What are we missing? Just position changes. I got a We need four national Oh there we go, there we go. We'll pop it. Perfect, that'll do. Yeah, cool, there you go guys. Right on the screen there, leave that there for a couple of seconds. You know, just keep it on there so you know what leagues are playing with. Perfect. There we go. So that's that done for you. So as promised, we'll just go uh, quickly check the rating between Ma Marcus Rashford and this new flashback El Shirare. Because, you know, like I said, Marcus Rashford at the minute, I've got him on the team there. Similar stats uh, and he's 
way cheaper for 30 odd chems, uh, 30 odd K. So, you know, if you don't have to push the boat out to get this El Shirari, then don't bother. But again, if you're doing a, if you're doing a, um, an Italian league team or, you know, if, if you want to use El Shirari, I'm not saying don't use him, then go for it. So they both got five star skills, four star weak foot. Marcus Rashford is six, six one high medium. El Shirari is faster in pace, shooting, dribbling, and passing. So, I mean, he has got overall better stats. But, you know, if you if you do want to try and save money, then try and save money. But, again, that El Shirari is definitely worth it. I do think he might be a bit overpriced. But, hey, we did the flashback review for about 700, 800k. So, who am I to talk, right? And, obviously, you can see Kukared is there at the minute just because we're trying to complete him. So... That's that for you guys today. If you've enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, then please do so. You don't have to. I will leave links in the description down below if you want to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Or I'm on TikTok at the minute. Just, just have a little mess around, seeing what we can do, and just giving videos to everyone else to try and help them out. So if you want to support the channel, then uh, that'd be awesome. Also, let me, in the com let me know in the comments down below if you've enjoyed today's video, uh, if there's anything you want, want me to improve on, or if there's anything you want to see in the video, or if you want to talk about anything, then let me know. Thank you for watching, guys, and uh, stay safe out there.